Guten Morgen, darlings. Guten Morgen. How are you today, darling? How are you, darlings? Oh my God. So I was just like doing a rant about how when stalkers are coming, it's always for the podcast. Podcast and Instagram. Now they found TikTok. TikTok, they'll go for TikTok too. And you just like, what? Why would you? Latoya forever. Y'all, do y'all know I am like such a fucking fan. What the? Did Latoya forever say something to me? Oh, she's offering subscriptions now. I'm sorry. I can't afford you, Toya. I can't afford you. Toya, I can't afford it, baby. I can't afford it. I was like, maybe I should get an OnlyFans. What am I supposed to do in the OnlyFans? I have to, like, research and see what I'm supposed to do. I'll be, again, without followers. Um. Okay, here we go. He's like, what does that do? I, I, I. Oh, what am I doing on here? Okay, so I got almost everything set up. Today is all about self-reflection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because today is the end of the mental health challenge. I think I'm calmer. Uh, Again, I do use these shows to just go off. Like, if I have to, I just use it to go off for real. I'm not about to, like, not be myself. I'm not about to do whatever. I just, I, I just, I want to get into this whole thing that I just saw. Because sometimes you just be like, mm-mm. Uh-uh, honey, that's, I don't, I don't even want to hear it right now. Uh, because, um, it's wrong. It is wrong. What this woman is talking about is wrong. And I, I don't know if this is a joke, but what they doing is real. So it's like. That's not right. I don't think that what you... I'm talking about... Nah. I'm about, it's a no for me, ho. It's a no. That when I heard them doing this shit at this school, and they were like, this is code switching. That's not code switching. That's you being inferior to somebody else. You know, when people are just like, when somebody comes and it's like, oh, yeah. You know, and they, it's like... Some of it is like when I told y'all about the four different personalities, like you have different vernaculars that you speak or whatever, you know, when certain people are around, you have four faces, you know what I'm saying? And I can go back over those really quick. Um, so I can go back over those really quickly, but, um, the other part of that is, it's like this person is saying that she is, that you have to identity switch. And it's a TED Talk. And I'm like, uh-uh. How is it going to change your life? That is, are you going to look at another person and identity switch? Or are you going to be be yourself? Like, this is something that is so stupid. Like, it's like, when did people misconstrue, I'm taking your identity? How now this going to change your life? Where my life at? And I never identity switched. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, they keep switching my identity with them. And I don't have a life. But you, are are they going to kill me for my life? You telling somebody to identity switch? And sweetie, that's against the law. You can't take somebody else's identity. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, it's like they really are. No, I I made this art. How the hell I, what I'm going to do? Just, I painted the Sistine Chapel. I love it. I love the glorious of the Sistine Chapel. I painted it. You just like, this is some stupid shit. So I'm looking at it. She got her dress on, her, her laid, and she's standing there. Y'all, that was something else that was in let. I wanted to do a TED talk. So you gonna switch your identity with me, and now, and then she gonna give me the video. Y'all see how stupid the shit is? It's like, what the fuck happened to you? What? Who are you? Again, black. 
black as the day is long they are serious it's not a joke it's not a movie it's not anything else they just as black as the fucking day is long bitch ain't no fucking way I was at the school. This man was like, the kids have to code switch. No, there is no such thing as code switching. So he would be saying that they have to, um, uh, let's see. That he was saying that they have to, like, talk proper English, all that stuff. That's the same person. Y- y'all understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm trying to tell y'all about the faces. People have four faces. Oh, what are the four? It is. You see, so see, it's like it, it is true. We have three faces. It's a true. It's a truth. It's an actual part of science. People have four faces. What are they called? And you learn this in, I think, social. Do we learn this in sociology or on political stuff? Um, so they got, so they bringing up the fact of the Chinese proverb. It's not that it's actually a social, sociology thing. Um, the first face is you show the world. The second face, you show your close friends and family. Third face, you never show anyone. That's like your conscience or whatever. But it's not like that. It's not something where we like, um, and that's, see, and it's the same thing. Every culture has a different way of presenting it. Um... What are what are people's four different faces called exactly? Okay. Um. So this okay. Hold on. Let me go back because this says something about seven. What are the seven different? No, that's seven different uh, personalities. Okay, this is a face. No. So what it is, is like, you feel the levels too. It's not something where you have to become somebody else, right? You're not switching your identity. What it is, is like, okay, so when you educated at home, you learn how to be educated at home, right? So you learn like all the slang, you learn all Ebonics, right? Just like when Hispanic people are educated at home, it's like, they'll learn how to speak to their parents and serve Spanish words like Blake he has certain Spanish words let's say Blake's upbringing for one for example I he only knows and I don't have to even tell him what it means I'm like that's better thing he knows he has to wait he doesn't know why he has to wait he doesn't know why he knows the word see the thing you know sit down he knows what I'm saying period he does not have to think about it at all it's because I've been saying it since he was little so when he are ebonics if i tell him some certain things i'd be like uh chancleta chancleta blake chancleta now you know i'm saying two pero what two quero papau two quero papau i don't have to even say it in english two quero papau y'all understand he he know i'm he'll start laughing because he like she gonna try to whoop me you see what i'm saying he he is like Laughing, chancleta. I never threw the shoe. I never threw the hot shoe at him, but I have thrown a bottle of alcohol. I'm not joking. Never threw the hot shoe at him yet. So it's like, and I, you also heard me say, yeah, because you know the older they get, shit, he'd probably be running out the house. I'm gonna beat this little ass. But he don't. Me and him not like that, right? So what I'm saying is, he really an easy kid to talk to. He's not hard to talk to. So when it's like in his upbringing, he already knows what these things. I'ma burn you with a cigarette. He'll be in there cracking up. Y'all see what I'm saying? Because I'm just like that is just ridiculous, you know. And he is the cutest, y'all. He is the I have the cutest child in the world. So it's like some stuff we say, and it's just like that's his house. That's his upbringing, right? So when he leaves my house, he goes to school. And now he meets the elf on the shelf. And now he meets the principal and the vice principal. So they have a different, they're more serious about discipline. So when Blake gets to school, he's serious about discipline. When he comes home, he's like, please, lady, don't even try it. Don't even try. To, don't even, And I'm just thinking to myself, lady, don't even try because he's too cute. 
And it's not that I'm going to say he like too cute where he can't get a whooping or nothing like that. He just too cute, y'all. He just, it's like he's so, I have a great child. Like, I'm not joking. It's not a joke. He'll come home and be like, Mom, I did get in trouble today because this is what I felt like. And it's like you can't get me upset with him because you know that you yourself as a child have had that issue too. Have y'all ever had the issue where the teacher don't listen to you? Or they give you something they don't want to give you. The, like they don't give you another sheet of paper. Like this is the only sheet of paper you could ever have. Oh my God. It's just be little shit. You just be like, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Or if he'll say, Mom, I'll just talk to her early tomorrow because I really was angry. And I just got upset with her and went to the office. And I had to, you know what I'm saying? I had to go see the council, all this different stuff. So he'll always tell me just everything. So I'm just like, okay. He's a responsible kid. He is very respectful, very responsible. I don't have all these problems. So, that's his second phase. Y'all understand what I'm saying? He's not going to have a laid back, unless they give him that type of situation. He's not going to have a laid back life with, um, with his teachers at the school. Y'all understand what I'm talking about? Then he, then he has his friends. So now he's talking to his friends. His friends are not his teachers. His friends are his peers. So what type of relationship is he going to have with his friends? Y'all understand what I'm saying? So now he's like, that's another face. So then when he leaves, he has to get a job. Right? So now he has to be professional and all this different stuff. And Blake is a different type of boss. And he it's different when he runs his house. So... When he say, Mom, this is my house today. This is my house. Not this is my house today. It's like the next place we move to. That's my house, right? But I still give him, I'll say, Blake, well, we can share this house. You know what I'm saying? Like, because he has rules. No drugs. We, he has another rule. Like, uh, we don't talk about certain things in the house. Like, it's just some stuff we just not, we don't have to talk about it because it ain't no question about it. You see what I'm saying? He just lay his little, he just lay his little law down, honey. He just lay his law down, and that's it. And it's not something that's gonna hurt the house. It's not something that's gonna hurt me. It's not something that's gonna hurt him. It's actually good for everybody that comes to our house. You understand what I'm saying? So it's and he not disrespectful either. If I say, okay, Blake, can we still take our shoes off at the door? Yes. And he's like, relax on these chores too, because who you trying to impress? You understand what I'm saying? Like, who you, you trying to impress me? It's like, nah, you need to chill. Play a game or something. Make a video. Get your life. Go to the gym. Walk up there and give me some groceries if you feel like it. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So it's like, it's easier to work with him because, or work for him. I see him as a boss. It's easier to work for him because he's not demanding anything but these small rules. Which end up being big rules. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So, and we know why those rules are there. So again, that's his other face back at our house. We'll tell you. We have no reason not to tell you. But at the same time, it's not your business. Because that's our house. That's his house. So it's, a, it's just, that's why you have four faces. It's just... Four different faces that you have because you're going to use a di and, and most of it is vocabulary. That's why I started with vocabulary. So when you were with your friends, you'll use a different cap vocabulary. Like if I went to my friends, I'm like, man, that's tight. You know what I'm saying? Let's tight. Let's dope, man. That's how we used to talk back in the day. I never talk like that, but that's, that's, I know those slang words. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't know ratchet and all that stuff. I'm not, that's not the time I grew up in. I know, I know ill. It's time to get ill. Let's chill. You see what I'm saying? Netflix and chill. What? They brought the 80s back. So it's like, that's something where it's that's mine. And that's a face that he doesn't always get to see. But I teach it to him because that's, that's part of my culture. So then let's say we get to, and now my peers are teachers. So now I have to use things like disadvantages, special education. I have to use those words. So that's how his vocabulary gets bigger because... When I speak to Blake, I'm not going to change my vocabulary for that reason. You understand? So he knows, now he knows diarrhea. He knows pussy must room, but he also knows that it's a cup. He knows the camera, but he also knows that it has a lens. He knows that it has a, a shutter. He knows, you see what I'm saying? All these different things he knows. And he at school, where he's learning art. So uh, he hears art vocabulary in the house. He can see the word acrylic on the, on the paint. 
he can see watercolor on top of her you see what i'm saying it's like anything he sees that's that's just a different life and it's more vocabulary so then we get to work that's what i'm saying my peers like i said my peers and his peers are different so him and his peers are talking about roblox and uh all this different stuff and me and my peers are talking about the students and when I say peers, they don't have to be friends because me and my friends are still going to talk like we at home because we have a different type of vocabulary. You understand? So it's like, that's what they mean by four faces. It does not mean you have to go out and now I have to put my sentence, my, oh my God, Suzanne has long blonde hair and I want long blonde hair. So buy you a wig. You don't have to now watch Suzanne and then become the Suzanne. I'm talking about they've been watching me on the camera with a mic and, and putting microphones and shit in my car. You're going to have a show talking about you identity switching can change your life. Bitch, you better get the fuck out. You can't because you have a new social security number. Um... Uh, you have, you know what I'm saying, you have, you see what I'm talking about, because they coming for real. And I'm, I'm here, I'm looking at it, and I'm going I'm to see exact, I probably won't be able to play, yeah, because I'm already looking at, I'm already on YouTube live. So yeah, it's just like, I don't think that shit going to be on my level. You see what I'm saying, you another bitch that'll be beneath me. But yeah, that's one thing I want to do, just have a TED talk. Identity switching, no. That's, no. No. You need to go to jail. And come on, at that school, well, we're going to cold switch. Meaning that you're going to take, uh, change how you talk. That's how I knew he was stalking my, my auntie Phyllis. Because she'll be like, you'll be the person coming in the room, you come in here and try bring me and she just i'm talking about the most annoying and i'm telling y'all i'm telling y'all right now feel this ain't retarded at all if a bitch know how to carry out that much evil you not retarded and your mama not and your mama is not innocent y'all understand what i'm saying because she with her mama most of the time she don't, she didn't raise her kids her mama raised her kids so it's like if you 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 not retort if you know how to do all that evil shit, bitch, you not retarded, and your mama not innocent. You understand? Y'all getting what I'm saying? So it's like no, uh uh-uh, uh uh uh, bitch, no. She will wait good. She had cameras in the house, so she will wait good and goddamn well to one of them little workers sit down, and then she'll start bring me this and don't be doing nothing to it. I'll be the poison her ass. They're yeah, like, what happened to you? Like, oh my gosh, she died in her sleep. She died in her sleep. And I think her mother's in the hospital with a broken leg. Because I would have pushed her ass down the steps. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? They would have been like, who the fuck snuck in her? I'm not fucking playing. Phyllis is cra- She was crazy, y'all. I feel bad for the woman. I feel bad for myself, too. She just come up with anything and her mama just do it. And so you just like, maybe her mama innocent. Because Phyllis is probably one of these people that was trying to control people, right? Guess what? Her mama not innocent either. For a woman to have that much control over somebody and have to use voodoo to do it, something going on. You ain't that stupid. She wasn't that dumb. So she was just fat and nasty, just sitting in the bed all the time. She was shitting in the bed, peeing in the bed. If she go anywhere in the house, she gonna break something. Look, y'all. This woman, I, I can't. She would just go in the bathroom and pee on the floor. This her, this, this, this my daddy, mom, or my grandma. I guess they was doing that upstairs, too. So it was like he can't have nothing. So he probably wondered why their house was all tore up and it looked like it was a third world country. They, it's like they just break shit just to break shit. I'm talking about they demo every motherfucking thing. It ain't no fucking joke. So, I'm saying Phyllis will use, uh, she'll use two different voices. So, say for she on the phone, she, oh, hi. This is Phyllis. You know what I'm saying? Like, she, and, I, and I'm really going for it. She really do act like 
like pretty v got her down where she be like peanut peanut what you talking about peanut you know what i'm saying like she try to act like she's so fucking slow then when it's like she get on the phone she want to talk proper and uh, all that different stuff and she'll do that in front of us too so it's like she always think that she one thing and she not you understand what i'm saying she just a fat lazy bitch trying to fuck with people with that fucking voodoo shit and so nah bitch you ain't finna fuck with me a whole family then been left with a fucking spirit her daughters her mama my daddy my daddy fucked tree tree fucked i'm talking about y'all they crazy they, they crazy as a fucking bitsy bug that's probably what they about to turn into bitsy bug when one of them die you gonna hear them out here screaming i want to know what it look like just in case they come and y'all think i'm playing i'm not joking Ain't that what they call it, a Bessie Bug? It's a beetle. It's a it's a regular normal beetle. We got like the um uh, the lines down its back. But it's something that it turn that um that is so crazy, y'all. That is so crazy. Like that just makes me feel more like a fucking Egyptian for real. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding? I'm not joking. I'm just excited. It made me feel like an Egyptian because the Egyptians, I'm serious. They control the insects and stuff too. So, are you serious? I'm gonna cry. It made me feel like an Egyptian. Oh my god. Because they crazy as a fucking Betsy bug. <clears throat> and it's actually just a normal looking beetle like the one what what turns into a bit uh, into a beetle it's those um i used to feed my i used to feed my fish these uh mealworms that's what it is okay so a mealworm turns into this type of beetle are you kidding me y'all i'm talking about as a busy bug so I had these in the house because that, you know, because I, sometimes I forget to put the worms back in the refrigerator and they'll turn into a beetle. This is crazy. I'm talking about y'all, they crazy. And out of all the people, they were probably the nicest to me. My daddy and Tree Tree, they were probably nicer to me than anybody. You see what I'm saying? In the family, but that don't mean it was always good. You see what I'm talking about? It's like when people are slowly trying to get over on you. Like, I'm just a kid. They ain't had no reason to try to get over on me at all. Now they scared of me. You scared I'm going to kill you? Are you scared I'm going to step on you? Nah, I just put you back outside. Like, y'all can have y'all freedom. It's not that serious. I feel so fucking Egyptian. I just want pictures up on the wall now, like scarab beetles and just beetles, period. I just, I don't know, I love it. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so, that's it. What am I, what else am I doing today? Oh, I gotta do the show. I gotta tell y'all what the show is about. Today is all about self-reflection. And it was one teacher. I'm gonna tell y'all from a teaching point of view where it comes from. Like, uh, from te for teachers, we self-reflect. We do reflection, like, after a lesson. So we gotta, like, for real, it's good to keep a notebook. This is what I just learned with having a client. He came in and he was like, we gotta do this uh-uh nobody because when i do the client services y'all i type in everything that we done not marketing green because when you are working with them they want so much other stuff to be done it's like it'll be 50 different things now i need you to change this honey so it's like i need you to show me this how do you show me that okay i can show it to you but i'm gonna put down how many times i showed it to you you understand what i'm saying so now i've shown him the same thing four or five times so it's like if you ain't got a check, when you gonna get it? When you gonna get it? So he, I put it in the notes, and that's it. The same thing with kids. Like you have to have a notebook, carry your notebook, and just like tab. 
a notebook or a sketchbook if you're an art teacher, a music book if you're a music teacher, whatever you want to use. But you have to tab each page with a name, okay? And if I were you, I would try to put the notes on the computer as soon as possible. So when you get home, that's a day. That's a daily self-reflection too, because it's about you, how you help the student. So some people will, um, and don't and put it on something where they got you got to put in a password to get to it, because that's the personal information you don't want. Too many people knowing about your child. You sometimes tell your kid in the classroom. That's why when people say, "Oh, how were they, girl? Please, they were the, they were the best, and their parents are awesome." I don't have anything else to fucking say. I hate when a teacher come to me, girl. He jumped off the wall. His mama came in here with them clothes all this. She first off, because you so much into their business, you can't see the positivity behind anything that they do. First off, his mother is young. So she has, she's allowed to have this time to dress. First off, his mother is fine. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So shit, I'll show my shape off too. This is why other teachers get mad at me. But now you want to be me. Huh? So it's like, that's why they get mad at me. Because it's like, I don't have any of those hangups. You want to talk to Miss Woods and Miss Peters about that shit. Because I'm not the one that got those hangups. And I'm not a principal or a vice principal. I'm a designer. So it's like, I don't like that. If I heard that in my school, the teacher would be fired. I'm not joking. If a person comes to you and talk about something, talk about their scores. And all you got to do is say, and you don't even have to talk about that. You can say, oh, go look in the, the records. Because you can go pull all their files from the year before, write down all the scores, and then put them back. You ain't got to look at no referrals. You don't have to look at no parent-teacher conference. No, You don't have to do nothing but write down the scores and move on with your life. Because you now have to get to know that kid. You have to get to know the kid. You have a totally different personality than this other person. Why well, I'm going to listen to you tell me about a child. And it's like, you kind of fucked up. You know what I'm talking about? Why well, I'm going to listen to Miss Woods tell me about one of my Hispanic students when she the one in her start arguments and fights with the parents over nothing because she eavesdropping so if you start an argument and you start to fucking fight with the parents how the fuck i'ma listen to you tell me that this parent ain't no good you know what i'm saying she came and tried to fight me bitch why though bitch why and i'm the one that stood there and watched you you gonna swat somebody's child without their permission and then she came pretty whoop your ass so in that case you the one with the fucking problem y'all understand what i'm saying it's like i can't listen to no other bitch tell me about you because that bitch ain't shit but now, you see what I'm saying? But I ain't no good as a teacher. I'm sorry. It's, I don't I don't sit there for no bullshit, y'all. I don't have time for it. You ain't finna tell me nothing about my child, bitch. Not this one. I had one kid, they just, he so bad. He just, and he'd do stuff, y'all. He broke one of my jaws, one of my mason jaws, right? And I think they told him to do it. Because it was just on the, t- it was on the table by the bathroom. And he had something in there. He just knocked it off the table. So when I was at another school, uh, one of my students broke up. It was something on the teacher desk, and she thought the girl did it for real, by on purpose. Nope, it was on the edge of her desk. It was on the corner, and she walked by, and it fell on the floor. She didn't try to do it or anything. Like, this one of the kids I actually used to keep with me, right? You would have thought that girl broke her heart. You understand what I'm saying? You could have put that shit on the shelf. You would have thought this girl ripped her fucking heart out of something. So that's how I know the um, Confluence Academy people was trying to write down shit and follow me too. So when he did, I was like, okay, he actually did it on purpose. You could see when he just kind of pushed the table and it just fell off. So I was like, okay. So to me, he's not a bad kid either because he was like, Miss Shula, I'm sorry. But he's not a bad kid. You understand what I'm talking about? So it was just something that was like strange about it to me. He would have did that. He would have been like, he would have probably put it on the table before he knocked it on the ground. It's not like that's what he want to see. He don't want to see destruction. He like to see, like, love and all that stuff. He handled things with, with Kurt. So it's like, because I know that about him, it was just like something I was like, I'm not about to get upset with him about it. Y'all talking about this woman didn't even sit there and had a right reaction. And she was taking hormones and stuff like that, too, because she was trying to get pregnant, supposedly. But it's just the fact that, you would sit there and want a child and then go off on a child that's standing in front of you. You would want a gift of a child, but you have a classroom full of children. And so y'all just don't see the world the way I do. 
you want a child, but you have a classroom full of children that are in front of you just, just there for you. You understand what I'm talking about? So it's like when they, and I used to tell my mama this, whatever environment you create, that's the environment you that you will get. So if I'm over here and I'm just like, every time somebody, I go to the office, I'm rolling my eyes and doing all this different stuff, then that's the type of environment that I would get. So that's what these people in the office don't understand either. If you end up being fake, somebody else, when they come to you, they're going to be fake to you too. Because that's the type of environment that you make and you're the one that's controlling the office. You control that environment. So when I go into the environment, it's like, I don't want to be in this fake ass environment. What the fuck I'm going to talk to you for? What I'm going to come in here and tell you my daily uh, doings for? For what? This man out here acting like he an investigator. He'll make you investigate him. Keep asking the motherfucker 50 questions all day. They're going to start investigating your ass too. You see what I'm saying? They're going to be walking around doing the same shit to you. So it's like you create the environment in your house. You create the environment. You in there fussing at your kids for every goddamn little thing they do. When it when a time comes, somebody going to start fussing at you for every little goddamn thing you do. So it's like y'all create the actual environment. So it's like I don't want my kids in class being uncreative or thinking that because they broke something they life over they got to go to the office they got to give up you know what i'm saying you got you create those environments and so it's like that's something that y'all have to look at too so that's and in your house all that stuff like it's like y'all just keep fussing at your kids putting them down all different types of shit and they be wondering why you can't talk to them in my house we create an environment of loving and care like all that shit i'm telling y'all that's the shit that we do and it it is so good that we do it and it's like that's a part of being jewish too like it's like it's just in our house i don't have to go oh blake these are the principles he'll grow up later and see him he don't need these are the principles of judaic you know being a jewish person and it's like that's it like he that's just who you gonna be Y'all create these ugly ass environments and then expect to get something good from it. Oh, I want to be rewarded because I just cussed out five customers. I just cussed out five customers and fired somebody for doing their job. Give me an award. And that's what y'all actually been doing, giving them awards. Best self-reflection questions. How am I truly feeling right now? Y'all, I didn't have this um, ginger turmeric and I'm... Ugh. It's good, but it's not good. It tastes like I need to be cleaning with it. I'm not joking. How am I truly feeling right now? How uh, am I where I want to be physically and mentally? What or who stops me from making the change? Am I being honest with myself? Is there something I always want to do or say but didn't do because I lacked enough courage? What makes me truly happy? Am I actually being present? Okay, next, self-reflection journal prompts. Ten things that make me happy. What are things that stop me from achieving my goals? What are my values? Have I been making myself small in order to please others? Why? What are the changes I need to make in order to achieve what I plan? What do I think about, I mean, yeah, what do I think about failure? So self-reflection, that's what I'm saying. It's like you have to have a time to reflect. Like you have to have a time to go back over what you've done. So that's the first way. So, again, like, I hate when they prompting you to self-reflect because it's like, for real, you already got enough reflections to do for the day. That's why I say the best self-reflection is what was the best part of my day and what was the worst part of my day. And that's it. But I'll tell you these two phrases that make me laugh. Me, my life in seven years. What do I need to get off my chest today? How can I simplify my life in little ways? I think just knowing your personality is better. Just knowing your personality. If you really did a personality test, you can go in, like, I can go in and put in E, E, N, what am I, E, N, F, J, E, N, F, J, um, outfits. I'm talking about y'all, any part of Icky Guy, it'll have, like, all the stuff, like, so I can go here and look at my personality type and look at all the fucking outfits for my personality type. It's not a joke, and look, I like all of them, Abby, Darcia, Phoebe. And see, that's that's how I am. Extroverted, intuitive, feeling, judging. So, 
I would like to wear a short skirt. Like, if I wore this, that's yes, that's how I wore that dark skin. I can't wear big boots because I'm a thick girl. You see what I'm saying? So, it's like, now I can't just look at my personality type. I got to look at my body type, too. So, I'm a coffer and a Peter. So, now, right now, I'm in a coffer state, right? So, it's like, can I wear these little uh, me dresses and stuff? Yes, I can, bitch. Yes, I can. So, it's like, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, yes, I like the plaid skirt. I like, I don't like t-shirts. I like uh, blouses. So, it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, all I'm doing is just looking at, okay, this is outfit. So, next, I want to design my house. ENFJ furniture. Um, so now I'm looking at, I could just look at this and just find, like, so you see what I'm saying for my personality type, I don't have to go back through all that bullshit. You see what I'm saying? It's like some of these journal reflections, you just like, for what? Why do I have to do that? Um, I think that's my personality type. But yeah, it's like, uh, you have an ENFJ. So, that's it. Like, so it's like. You can just look at up ENFJ everything, and it's like it'll just give you all the stuff that you would want to wear. Like I love me a good jumpsuit. You see what I'm saying? So it's like um, I love a good one piece. I, I'm just I'm just that person. Um, so I like to show my waist because I'm just I like to be feminine. Look, this one is fucking perfect, Bill. So, look, they got on a jeans and a collar shirt. Y'all know how I like the Tom Ford style, which Janet Jackson introduced me to that. Thank you, Janet. She introduced me to that whole Tom Ford thing. I like me a good tail shirt. I like the fact that Tom Ford took another tail and or like how the tails go all the way down to the bottom. Like, it's a men's shirt, just oversized. That is the shit. It's just like the coat I had last year. It was like a sweatshirt. I mean, it was like a, a, a letterman jacket, but it's like a long letterman jacket. I got that from anthropology i love that shit y'all i'm like for real let the design go on and cover up my ass and everything i love it because it's like so nice sometimes wearing a oversized man shirt that's why sometimes i do have fantasies of being Shaq and um what's his name barkley's friend so i can steal their clothes i steal the fuck out them shirts i am not playing they be like this bitch that made another style again out of fucking shirt what this bitch got on today what do this bitch got on today? Y'all, they'll be mad. Look, I just got this little piece of scrap from uh, Shein, from that thing. When I told y'all I can pick these things to get. So, look, I don't even know what to do with it. I was thinking about putting it on. Oh, my God, y'all. Look at, okay, look, y'all know my dress. So, this dress, I did not pay $100. It, is, it was regular $180. I didn't pay for it. But this be the shit we pay for. Look at that little slip under there with the little line. Like it's a house dress. Like I need to cook some fucking biscuits. Like I need to cook biscuits. It's like this is. Look at this little pink line. Like a little slip under there. And it's plus size. So I was going to take this. And put it onto the straps. Y'all see what I'm saying. It's that because the straps are like so thin. So I was going to take this. And make this part of the strap. That shit is so fucking cute. It's just, why can't I just dress up country? Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, I love that shit. I love it. I love it. That's why they be mad. Like, where I get that from? Bitch, I made that. Who the fuck you talking to? Who you, who you talking to? I'm Jack's student, baby. I'm Jack's. I'm Jack's student. Y'all, I'm going to start flipping my... I'm Jack's. I'm Jack's costume student. Who the fuck? Who the fuck do you think you are? If you don't have a salad, bitch, we're not talking. Raspberry vinegar, vinaigrette, ho. Raspberry vinaigrette. That's how I'm going to start talking. I'm Jack's student. Hang on, who the fuck is Jack? I do. Bitch. 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 Anyway, he don't talk. He don't say bitch. He don't say bitch. Okay. That was me. That was me. That was not his person. That was me. That was me. That was all me. Don't blame him. Okay, next they have this next one. It's a Marzia. A Marzia. Y'all. All it is is a dress. What do I have? What do I have to have? A dress. A dress. I'm going to wear it a couple times and I'm going to redesign it. A dress. Like this dress is like so big. 
a dress. Okay, and then the last one, Alicia. Overalls. Y'all, ENFJ all the way. It's a one piece. Y'all, it's a, it's a jumpsuit. So it's just like all these are my personality. It says choose an E or ENFJ to be friends with. Fuck y'all. We all gonna wear the same shit. I think Bill might even wear the dress. He gonna wear them overalls. Something is wrong with us. I don't know. And we so positive. So that's the other thing. It's like you can't you can't hold us down. Oh no, we got to keep on moving. Can't nobody you see what I'm saying? So I just love it. I love it. Okay, let me see if I see any more. Cause I'm talking about that is that's good. So this one is a mood board and it's like some of this shit too short because I'm just like, but I will wear short. No, I won't because I'm a tomboy. Like, it's just like I wear the crop tops, but I won't wear the skirts. But I was wearing like another pair of pants underneath. ENFJ Fancy. Yes, this is us. I will wear this shit. So it's like a flowy dress. I'm going to download. I'm going to put them on there. So it's like it's a flowy dress. And, um,. It's some platforms, because I can run in them. I don't like to wear shoes. I can't run in them. Even if I try my high heels, I got to try to run in them. Because if I can't run in them, bitch, we ain't happening. It's like a little clutch bag. Brown makeup, because I like goals or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like goals, oranges, all that stuff. And it has like wavy hair. So if I got a ponytail, I wear it down. No, I would not wear it up with a bow. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like we are like, re we really like kind of professional and I would have to have a like a jacket or a cardigan. Y'all see what I'm saying? Like, so then let's get to let's get into winter casual edgy trendy. So casual, they got a tube top. If I had the right bra, that's all I would be in. I'm not fucking joking. If I give me a goose strapless bra, all I'm wearing is just like a tube top for real. I used to wear a lot of when I was little and my titties. Y'all, I would, it, the motherfuckers would just drop down because I ain't have no titties. It'd be down here on my waist and all my little titties be out. But I always have a shirt over it. So, if I had a good strapless bra, I would wear a tubeless top. And I would wear corduroy pants. Maybe stole top corduroy pants. This has a skirt. Again, I'm not a skirt person. Not short skirts. Or I could wear an A-line skirt. Y'all see what I'm saying? The next. And that's going to be so cute. Next, a sweater. The sweater is oversized, which this is how I like my cardigans. It's almost like I want to cry because we're here together. You understand what I'm saying? Like, this person gets me. Y'all, it is my fucking personality type. ENFJ, this is my personality. This is, like, so appealing to me. This person gets me. Do y'all see how this is so much better than self-reflection? You see how it's like, oh, God, I got to sit down and write in a journal about these dumb questions. No, you don't. Once you do the personality test, all you got to do is just research yourself. And you'll be like, oh, God, where have I been all my life? Where have I been all my life? You'll be your best friend. I'm not joking. You'll be in plan every goddamn thing. I'm not. It's like when I say they have furniture, like you can have ENFJ furniture styles. Yeah, I think they even got finances. I'm not joking. You would just be like, this bitch just planned out every fucking thing for me. It's only because y'all have the same look. I'm not joking. ENFJ cottage style. Cottage style. All this thing is missing is more plants. I'm not joking. It is the shit. Yes, because it has like the fancy curio. We like a little bit of a... A edge of like gold trim you know what I'm saying we like to look like we have money and we don't like I'm so serious it'll probably be like we just I'm for real we probably all broke we not joking we look like we fancy bitch we not like it's just like we can take something and make I mean nothing and make it into something so here it is again eight interior styles look all of them clean all of them clean and when I say clean because clean is actually something that's a slang term too so, but in this situation, I'm, and it's a good thing. When it's clean, and you be like, yeah, that shit clean. You see what I'm saying? In this situation, as a designer, it's like it's open space. It's airy. You know what I'm saying? It's enough for me to move around in. I don't have to feel like everything is cluttered. Like right now, 
my room is cluttered i almost want to build like a cabinet so i can cover all this shit up but the cabinet will actually be organized y'all understand what i'm saying it's like i just want to kind of put a wall up there or something like that i also need flowers dangling from the middle of the ceiling it is just some stuff we just cannot live without and it, it's like are you kidding me so look this one has the correct amount of plants everything like you'll just be like oh my god are you kidding me this has a a great amount of uh, uh oh jesus this one has a window it's just like oh my god just let the sun come in like we just have real issues like all these have like these big ass windows because we like to be in the sun like we like we like sunlight we like what god has given us we also like traditional so this one has a a, um, a stove pipe like an older a stove or whatever like you know that's what i want to get on the bus too like it has a wood burning stove uh it also has a modern thing where it has like the big um what is this the the what is that thing the fan over the stove you know what i'm saying so it's like it's not cluttered every we like things that are freestanding like i don't want a whole lot if i had shelves i want them to be like the ones that come out of the wall and i don't have to put anything underneath you know what i'm saying so it's like we like it to be clean it has to be clean clean and airy and decorative and it has to and it's like everything has to be kind of useful i don't want to tchotchkes and shit i gotta dust all fucking day so it's like all this stuff is just good and so that's it in in enfj personality you can even do let me try enfj finances so you'll just be like what the fuck i just learned about myself so all you gotta do is do your Maya briggs personality test and that's it you will just learn so much stuff about yourself so it's like once you learn your personality you don't gotta do no self-reflection the self-reflection will just come it will just come honey and that's it so this look this ain't are we materialistic since they value connections over things exactly when we create a space when we create a space for conversation we create a space for you to be comfortable we, we create a space for you for you to come visit us you see what i'm saying we create a space where you feel lovely it's almost like i think enfj created starbucks that has the best ambiance that i could ever think of it's starbucks coffee shops like it's like that's an enfj prop uh, enfj probably created that too for you to be able to sit down and be comfortable and not feel like you got to get put out to have a cup of coffee and you can have Wi-Fi and all that stuff, that's the ENFJ thing. You see what I'm saying? We're not materialistic, but we will set up a space in order for you to be able to communicate on that level. Y'all understand what I'm saying? So that's it. That's all I'm saying. Just do just do the, the personality test and that's it. It'll be able to help you with everything you need to help help with. It's fuck of self reflection. You'll be able to reflect just like that and go on with your day. What's the best part of my day? What was the worst part? That's all you gotta worry about. Anyway, that's it. Shantae Brown Sugar Talk under Black Unicorns telling you guys, please have a good day. It's today Wednesday or Thursday. I have I'm so behind on my writing, it's ridiculous. And the only person that's going to be at fault for that is me because I don't have to write a novel, but I did want to participate. And so I'm going to participate. I'm going to write today. I don't know if I'm going to write my number for words or whatever. I'm probably supposed to be like 40, 30,000 words by now. I'm not. So, um, I'll start doing that. And that's it. So anyway, Blake, thank you and I love you. And you guys, please just have a good week. The weekend is coming tomorrow is friday it's the weekend baby it's the weekend have a great day